How do you change society? How do we do this thing? How do we... It, it doesn't seem like this is all that complicated. I mean, you really should be able to persuade humanity. They should be able to see their own interest in it. I mean, you know, the lying and the cheating and the stealing and all the bullshit that goes on. I mean, we really should be able to say, no, this isn't the way we really want to live. If you really think about it, if you use intelligence, you first figure out that there's a lot of other beings of equal meaning to yourself who um, are also in need. If you devote a little time to thinking about maybe just giving away some of your time to someone else or some other cause, you might be able to do some real productive work in terms of helping to prevent suffering or at least um, reduce it. If you're gonna be here, you might as well make the most of it and be as productive as you can. You have to recognize that um, there's another consequence of this equality thing, of this idea that the rest of these organisms walking around are just as unique and just as passionate and just as caught up in stuff as you are. And um, if you really look at their lives and you say to yourself, oh, gee, I wouldn't want to be that person, or I wouldn't want to be that, or I wouldn't want to have to live that life, or I wouldn't want to go through what that person went through. If you understand that concept, you understand that Escaping with your life, so to speak, escaping with your happiness is really not escaping because guess what? The world will be here tomorrow. As a practical matter, you're going to be here. I mean, you have a different name and a different identity, but it's still you in a sense. It's still, it's still this vulnerable human being that has flaws and things to overcome and has pain and, I mean, it's all those things. It's all there and, and maybe even more than you've ever experienced. Maybe you don't even know how horror is. But regardless, that's the vulnerability that extends beyond our own lives. Getting out of this game with money in your pocket, you're not out of the game. Because the game's still going to be played, you're still going to be dragged back into it. Whatever's going on, we're, we're never free of it. So I mean, as intellectual beings, if you're going to recognize that fact, then you're going to say, well shit, I've got to fix this. If I can't really escape, then I've got to do something to try to fix that. That's the next step in this progression of videos would be solutions, uh, fixes for the bugs in our social system, for the flaws in it, the things that make it um, less efficient than it needs to be, let's put it that way. I mean, obviously, I would like us to try or strive for some sort of perfection, um, but if we can just get rid of the real bad stuff, the real broken parts, the idea that we would force people to die any more miserably than they want to it's really such, I mean, that one's, that one's the real, you know, just makes your brain hurt because you, you look at that, that waste is just so obvious. I mean, why do we do that? Why, why do we do that? Why do we force people to spend 10 years in nursing homes not knowing who they are? I mean, you know, we really do need to have some sort of contract with society and where we spell out exactly what we're worried about. You know, if X, Y, Z happens, well then please, you know, humanely put me out of my misery. I mean, if I don't know my name anymore, and I don't know what planet I'm on, it's no, I don't want to be here then. Please do not perpetuate my existence under those circumstances. I mean, we really should be able to make that deal with society. The potential to um, elevate humankind is right there and for us to grab it. And we can, it's, it's like this, it's like a miracle drug almost that could do I think incredible positive good. It's just a little fix and it can make a huge difference in terms of the reality we live in. But like I said, I guess we first have to get over the obstacle of this closed mind that we're trying to engage that's running society. You know, this, this closed mind that's glued to a tradition, glued to words, glued to their meaning, you know, won't allow anything to bend anywhere. Uh, won't even have this conversation. Um, you know, you, you suggest something that's a little bit different you're Adolf Hitler, you know, you're, you're Stalin, you're, you know, they just pigeonhole any idea and turn it into crap, you know, by association. I like that I'm a better person. I like that I've matured into a human being that can give freely without worrying about my return.